Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm Professor John R. and I'm your instructor. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put your leather polishing sticks to work. In a previous video, I showed you how to make the polishing sticks from simple supplies such as chamois, tongue depressors, paint stir sticks, crafting sticks, and wooden dowels. The great thing about all of these things is that they give you different surfaces to work with in order to polish your, your goods. Now, what I have out are some simple projects that we're going to buff with the polishing sticks so I can show you exactly how to get into certain areas. Over here in the tools area, I have two types of polishing compound. In this video, I'm going to be working with the Red Rouge only, but I just wanted to make it clear that you can use these tools with any type of polishing compound, and you can learn more about these compounds if you look at the Principles of Polishing video on this channel. Now over here you can see I have the sticks ready to go, and they're still clean. And in addition to the sticks, I have a Sharpie pen and a plastic bag. Now you want to have these supplies handy when you work with these sticks because as soon as you're done working with them, you need to put them away. And you need to label the bag and perhaps the end of the stick with the Sharpie pen so you can keep track of what you used with what compound. The reason for this is you don't want to cross-contaminate your sticks with different varieties of compound because then they'll never work exactly the way that you intend them. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing I want to talk about is the little engagement ring here, the solitaire ring. Now, the sticks are great. If I use the round dowel, what I'll be able to do is I can hold the ring and use this dowel to get the inside curve of the ring exactly. The other thing that's great about this little dowel is that if you have a rounded surface, say the outside of the ring, if I wanted to get just a thin line, I can touch the dowel to the surface of the curved wire that makes up the ring, and I could just get just the center of that wire. This is because the round profile of this stick on the round profile of the ring creates a tangential connection to this surface. In other words, just one point is touching. Okay, now let's talk about some of our other things. Right here I have one of the pendants that was demonstrated in the fusing scrap metal together, your silver scrap metal together, to create some type of artistic looking pendant. And this has been frosted, meaning bringing up the fine silver, and then it's been patinaed using liver of sulfur. And the cool thing about the liver of sulfur with silver is that you get all of these great colors. But maybe you want to bring back a little bit of the silver. Well, it's really easy. All I need to do is take one of the polishing sticks and I'm just going to rub it onto the red rouge so that the stick picks up some of the red rouge. Then what I can do is I can just hold this piece and just rub the red rouge right exactly where I want it. In other words, I can really control what I'm doing. And that way, I can expose the silver surface of the pendant in just the area that I want to. Just like that. It's that quick and that easy. Now, you can go back over and over a piece to bring back a mirror finish if you want to, but this is a great way for getting rid of that excess patina or oxidation that you've applied. So if we look at this larger piece here, the bracelet, it has a big surface area, but I want to keep some of the patina so that it looks older. I don't want it to be bright and shiny and silver. So in this case, what I could do is I could actually use the larger stick. And again, all I need to do is just rub this polishing stick onto the red rouge to try and pick up some of the red rouge on it. Just like that. And now, all I have to do is just work the top surfaces to remove some of the oxidation. Now, these sticks, when you work with them, they're going to get dirty. 
And I wouldn't be surprised if after you're done working with them, instead of them showing, say, like this one looking red with the red rouge, it might be completely black with all of the oxidation I'm removing. That's why it's important to mark the sticks so that you know that you use red rouge with it and not some other compound. Let's see what we're going to get. You can see it's really bringing up a nice bright surface. Now it takes a little bit of time and a little bit of elbow grease, but I'm sure you're going to be happy with the results that you get. The OJA could use your support. If you click on the little letter I, a menu will drop down of related videos, and if you scroll all the way to the bottom, there's a picture of me that if you click on my face, a new window will appear that will allow you to support the OJA in its videos. You can choose to leave one, five, or one million dollars but whatever amount that you choose to leave, be sure that you click on the blue letters that say leave a comment and be recognized. That way we'll know who to thank. Next, hit the next button and fill out your credit card information. We appreciate the support of all of our viewers. If you haven't subscribed to our channel already, be sure that you do it now. Thanks for watching.